I, I just realized that uh, I didn't switch my audio. Whenever I have like my headset, since it's wireless, it dies. When I plug it in, it's a new device because it uses different things. So yeah. Hi, welcome. That is so sweet that you uh, boss Germa of all people. That is really nice of you. They're actually doing an esoteric art for somebody. As part of a uh, protection charm. Oh, <laughs> you don't know if he's like. You know, I've never actually watched Jeremy, but like, he's a blurbo from people's shows. You know what I mean? I just see him on a Tumblr for some reason. I just see people talk about him. I've never actually watched one of his streams. <laughs> you would post him though. <laughs> That's because you're a sweetheart. How is your day going? It's a uh, Monday there, isn't it? I'm watching a couple of super cups of house flipper shirts. Oh, that makes sense. Um, I just realized my camera's in a wrong position. And it wasn't catching me. I was just like stuck. Let's see, when is ten hours on the other side of? Oh, wow. You and I like. I thought we played it for a long time, but damn, nine hours. That's something else. <laughs> Seems too well. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I get a bit of mm, maudlin at night. I have good people in my life, and you're one of them. So thank you. Okay, that's enough squishiness for me. I'm supposed to be rough and tumble, aren't I? <laughs> I've been, uh, been watching some watercolor artists and some, um, some oil and acrylic painters on YouTube off and on. I'm thinking about like my own technique with composition because I have none. But there was this one artist who was also an educator, like at a college level when it came to painting. And he said, paint shapes, not things. It reminded me of Bob Ross. I'm trying to keep that in mind. Uh, I have oddly had a really good day myself. I mean, other than this migraine that's starting to me. But, uh, yeah, I had a good rehearsal. Spent some time with some friends. Good day. <laughs> hey Noah, nice to see you. I appreciate you lacerating my migraine. That would be fantastic. I had uh, one of my bandmates, our new drummer, actually say, like, <laughs> someone needs to get gone on the phone and Tell them to knock it off for my migraines. It's pretty funny. And it was actually really funny because like then he was like talking to our our uh, our main guitarist who he knows is a 
employed by a local church um, to do their Sunday service as like their guitarist and he, he doesn't know this because he hasn't been with us for very long hey Z nice to see you too your day has been fine but you're ready for another weekend I know right so like our main guitarist is employed by a local church to do like Sunday service kind of worship music he absolutely hates it he is a very avowed agnostic if not atheist but definitely agnostic <laughs> so for him to his our drummer's next line was well you know Matt's on the Matt spends time with him every Sunday maybe he should talk to him <laughs> And Matt just looks over to me with like this, oh my god, he really doesn't know that, okay. And so I, I came in with, um, I don't think it's a, a choice, Matt's there. <laughs> it's really funny. Uh, Matt is very cynical. We have, um birthdays that are nearby each other so like I get his sense of humor his wife's adorable too he's got cute kids his brother's awesome his brother's actually a psychiatrist like psychiatrist so that was really unnerving when he came to visit <laughs> during Christmas and Matt's like oh by the way my brother's gonna watch us play like as one of our rehearsals and I was like oh that, that's great and I totally had a panic attack it was fantastic <laughs> uh, but enough about my life so our painting is going to be for somebody to actually burn that is going to be my request for them to burn this as part of something so it's going to be interesting. Hmm. It feels very avant-garde if you think about it that way. Like, you know, painting this and the only thing that's going to remain is like a picture of it picture of the picture or potentially with a video on demand if I ever save it but the memory of doing it and the energy spent within it that's an interesting thing Let me know if the music is too loud or too quiet. I can certainly change that. But yeah, I think the migraine's been threatening because I am freaking dehydrated. Like we went and played for like three hours and very energetically because we now have a drummer, but at the same time, the place was not very well air conditioned and I was just drenched with sweat. I haven't been that sweaty and hot since like, oh, I don't know, summer in Missouri. Cause it's been humid here. It's like 32%, which is incredible for us. Usually our humidity is like five. YouTubers freaked out when uh, I take off my headset. I just wanted to make sure the cat was okay. He was making noises. But anyway, so I've been dehydrated. So I think that's why my th migraine is all like, oh, hey, by the way, I'm going to come back. But also, freaking incense. So I let it burn down until it was done. Ah. <sighs> This looks like flame so far, doesn't it? Mm. It is another Monday.
So Noah, what do you got going on this week? You been doing any better? I know you've been having a time of it lately. And see how you hanging in. Things calmed down. Things seemed really grumpy earlier. I know, even though this playlist is like seven hours long, it doesn't really feel like it. <laughs> oh, looks like Noah and Z disappeared on me. It's just you and me, Blueberry Bernie. Maybe they'll come back. Oh, you're there. Your little stream avatar disappeared. That's weird. He's zoning out a little. Mm. It's fine to zone out. I'm okay with that. Oh, let me get you all some stars. You're very sleepy? I'm gonna get a shower. Well, I better get you stars soon, huh? Hmm. It fades if you don't chat much. Oh, I see. There you go. Look at those stars. Oh, they say jump on them. That's funny. Mm. This is just a chill stream anyway. <laughs> Talking is not necessary. But company is nice. Blue Guy Birdie has won 20 from the Jump Catch game. Drail Rimska has won 15 from the Jump Catch game. Nice. Ah, oh, I got bombed. You know, I gotta finish the stream avatars for CC. Mainly for Dynaban. But also, like, because my next project with them is I wanna do a boss battle. And I have a good idea for a boss battle for CC. I mean, like, I hope you both realize that, like, I'm using CC as a testing ground for things I want to do for myself, right? Shh, don't tell her. Uh, but also, like, it would be so fun to do one of those boss battles. Because, yeah, they have a boss battle thing and you can actually attack and stuff. <laughs> Let me gamble. <laughs> Do I have that implemented? Hold on. Um. I think I do have that actually. <laughs> oh, neat. I can put a block. Look at that. A block. Oh, and a ladder. I'll check this out. Oh, I'm gonna give you guys something to do. It's gonna be great. <laughs> hmm. I think I need to put the bottom of the uh, ladder. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. There we go. Uh, Z, I'm gonna get you more. 
Hold on. Hold on, my friend. Oh. Oh, I'm breaking stuff. Mario looks pissed. That's funny. Okay, okay. There. <laughs> hey, my girl did it. Uh, try walking forward. Worth it, like, being a dick. Yeah, let's try this. Let me ascend. I want to be tall. You, you want to be tall, though? Here. I will make you tall. Oh, I flung you. Holy shit. Oh my god, there you are. You're going in circles. What the hell? What <laughs> you? Oh my goodness. Um, Barry, stop. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why are you going? Why are you going in circles? Oh wow. Oh my goodness. Um, let me let me see if I can grab you. Uh, uh, <laughs> leave me. It's <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny, but it is three a.m. <laughs> oh, it looks like you're swinging a swing. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I'm gonna also despawn these randoms that I accidentally spawned. Oh, Alice, nice to see you. We have, a uh, we have Barry on a swing for some reason. It's really funny. Um, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Uh, Barry, I don't know where you went. Maybe if I bomb things, that'll be good. Oh, you're still swinging. I'm trying to grab you to pin you. Because they can pin me. Wait, how do I get rid of pins? Oh, can I just... I don't know where you went. <laughs> You're dying. <laughs> oh, see, so you got the slots to work. Maybe I have to use the um, actual thing. Oh, wow. Looks This is so funny. Oh my goodness. Barry, maybe like changing your avatar will uh um get it to uh do stuff. Oh my goodness. I'm okay. It'll be fine. I don't know where I don't know where you are though. <gasps> there you are! Yay! Okay, here's stars. Sorry. <laughs> now, if you can get Legend of Dragon characters, I thought that would be on that. I bet. Hopefully, I can find some. How is Alice doing tonight? Welcome to my excitement where I break stream avatars. <laughs> Did you have a nice weekend, Alice? Hmm. 
I'm trying more excitement than you actually. Oh, have you had a boring night? Sometimes those are really nice though. I enjoy a nice, like, cozy summer night. I've actually kind of had a cozy summer night. I've been thinking about mm, summer nights in other places. Like, I was thinking about where I grew up and what the summer nights were like. And then learning to ride a bike because we rode bikes all summer and in the evenings as the sunlight was going down and the street lights were coming on we'd have to get back right but that was in the twilight of a summer evening that i learned to ride a bike without training wheels when i was little it just reminded me of good summer vibes I'm more disappointed than boring. Oh, do tell. Would you have a date that just turned out to be crap? Yeah, it's not strict because Stream Amateurs has a plug-in on chat window where you can select actions like thoughts. Yes, it does when you go to the extensions thing. I'm glad that that worked. The manual stuff, at least. You'd have to open another browser window, but... I'm sorry you're still raging, Z. And hopefully we can make your night more pleasant and less boring. Oh! You're all stuck. Um... Um... Can I blow up things? Hold on. No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What happened to, uh, there we go. You can have a, a ladder to nowhere. That'll be great. Please drag to a not safe for work event with friends. And by the end of it, Stand around by yourself because they all ran off people's? <laughs> you were like Team Rocket blasting off again there for a second. Oh. That. How did they run off people? Hmm. Or. Oh, they all ran off with people. So they were pairing off. Okay, sorry. My mistake there. Mm. Well, you're more than welcome to hang out with us. I'm be less bored. They don't know what the precious person they had in you. That is such a shame. Such a shame. Well, it's absolutely their loss. Do you have a partner and not going to be standing around again? I am so sorry. That's hard. I mean, I was always in that position too. I just stopped going to things like mixers. And just be weird on my own. But when you're looking for something, you know, it's it's really a tough. Yeah, you do got us, as you said. You know we certainly enjoy you. Uh, I was gonna call you a good girl, but I think that's too much embarrassment for one night, huh? But 
that you definitely are one. <laughs> Random horny strangers, I know, right? You can have um, n known horny strangers. I mean, technically speaking. <laughs> uh, weird's a relative for us. This is so true. <laughs> you're weird even when you're trying to get laid. See, that's the way to go about it. Some people vibe with your weirdness. Hmm, this is gonna be interesting. What shapes am I even painting? This looks like a desert. Does it not? Sand dunes? We're getting there. I was reminded of a hand lighting a candle with a stick of incense. In the dark. I think that's what I'm going to be going for, maybe. I'm not sure yet. Hmm. Let me just not act on this that I didn't even want to go because you knew that that's what would happen. I know that feeling. But you got dragged to it anyway. And you went because that's what one does with your group of friends. And it's like, hmm, this is not gonna end well for me. That feeling is so hard. Z, horny. I'm more illustrious than, than just plain horny. If I'm looking for a random encounter. Uh, yeah. See? <laughs> yeah, that's just me as well. Me the introvert. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's hard either way, though. I'm sorry. I had a boring and disappointing evening. Hmm. You bet all your points in one? Oh wow, nice. Now I'm standing around the room with people doing their thing and just being disappointed. Oof. Yeah, I know that feel. It's hard, it's really hard. You know, I have never once been asked to dance. Never in my life have I been asked to dance. That's something I always wanted to experience, but it has never happened. And it's because of reasons like that, you know? There's all these, you know, expectations from society and from yourself on what experiences you should have in life. And it's hard when you don't meet them. That's kind of how I feel about not being asked to dance. I mean, heck, I wasn't even... I didn't even kiss anybody or had been kissed until I was like 17? Yeah. We weren't allowed to date until we were out of the house, so. Needless to say, my uh, teenage friend wasn't really all there. We definitely need a hug though. Oh, you can see my elbow. That's funny. Hmm. 
I'm leaning on my elbow. Well, let's get this light in the darkness then for tonight. Disappointment when you get home and don't even want to deal with it yourself. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Big oof, sir. So sorry. But, you know, tomorrow is another day. Mm. And we shall make it a better one. Nice color. What about that paintbrush? My cozy vibes already make it better. <laughs> Yay for vibe check. Yay indeed. Look at this color though. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm. It's gonna be striking with this yellow. I wanted some golden hues. Mm. I like how like I'm all cozy, but my cat girl's like. I am super cute. Oh my gosh. Nay? You know, it's adorable but weird. <sighs> I think I need to make a more serious character <laughs> for my moves. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Enjoy your shower, Barry. Hope to see you afterwards. But if we don't, have a wonderful evening and get some good sleepies. Good, good sleepies. Mm. You'll be back soon. Hi, that's adorable. Just imagine you saying that. <laughs> Enjoy the shower. Oh, the show is so nice. You know, I don't know why I didn't get one after all the band stuff, but I didn't. I was too fucking tired to tell you the truth. Oh, look at how dark this is. I love this. Mmm, that is a nice color. Happy little trees. This is happy little me's. Mmm. It's a beach, isn't it? You know, the ocean at night in summer is gorgeous. I miss that about living in places with water. Hi! <laughs> Comes from your weeb girlfriend. That is adorable. One, that she does that. And two, <laughs> That you have a weep girlfriend. That is freaking awesome. Weep girls are awesome. You know, I, it's such a shame, like, that we got away from the term otaku. Like, that was a much better term. You know, just the regular old fanatic term. No, they're all weebs now. I'm such an old school weeb that you can call me an otaku. <laughs> mm, waves on the shore. Mm. 
it's nice out right now it's only like 95 it's starting to cool off at 3 a.m this summer has been relentless and it's gonna get worse much worse before it gets better we're not even at the heat of the summer Hmm. Maybe I'll make this a river or a lake. I don't even feel the aesthetic of my space right now. <laughs> velour. I'm sorry, I'm just reminded of Futurama whenever I say this is velour. But yeah, it is. Just mind you, this is just my desk. My room is not as aesthetic. <laughs> I wish it was. Though it, I do have I do have dark blue velvet curtains, I have to say. And a bed that has too many pillows. <laughs> Your space is more Uber Otaku D and D nerd. Like a bluer body glove. <laughs> Barry, go get your shower. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, Zap Brown again was one of the best characters ever. Brave New World is good, by the way. Oh, Brave New Worlds. Yeah, you've mentioned that. I've wanted to. I've wanted to watch it. Um, my roommate. Liz and her girlfriend just saw um, the newest Doctor Strange and said it was good if you like that series. A little dark uh, but good and they also went to see um, the new Thor that's out in theaters. They got asked to go along which was super nice but I was not in that kind of headspace that night to go. Oh, black satin. Blackout curtains make life good. Yes, go get your uh, go get your shower, Barry. Lurk, please. <laughs> your room needs more gundams and a sword. I I have a sword in the car. It is a katana <laughs> from one of my exes. I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I also got his bow cans, but they were in my storage unit, and I thought you know I sh I should bring them in. Thanks for reminding me. You need new curtains for your room because one window has none. Thanks to two for demons. Oh my goodness. Curtains. I mean, I found them pretty inexpensively online. And I've always wanted. Well, okay. Dark navy blue velvet is one of my most favorite things in life. And so. When I decided, when move, <laughs> uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. When Liz moved out of this room and into her own space after we broke up, I decided I actually eventually would make the space my own. So I got myself blue velvet curtains. Yeah, strange, the new strange movie on Disney Plus. You have a fat, lazy cat. Yeah. Mine kept trying to get at uh, this earlier when I was making it because, I mean, one, wire, but like two, the bells and the jinglies, which, I mean, God, I should have known this, but like fish hooks and velour, they, they like to catch on the lure. That was such a dumb move of me. So I actually had to cut a little bit of holes out in order to get them out. They have very, very fine, fine hooks. You can see that. Anyway, that's the other part of this project. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, you have a tuxedo demon? Oh. 
And this is Cad as a tuxedo, and I love that he's a demon. He's a stinky bastard man that I just, I absolutely adore him. Kyo. It was Kyoko, wasn't it? Liz's cat is named Noctis, if I haven't mentioned. And yeah, he is the best, worst, stinky bastard man. He's only he's only turning three this year. So he is a young and rambunctious tuxedo. Smarter than he <laughs> smarter than he should be. Oh, he gets himself into so much trouble. And he's very attention seeking because he is freaking bored out of his mind. So like half the day is spent trying to entertain the cat, I swear. Marin is the orange and Fiji is the tuxedo and Fiji is much more chill. <laughs> oh Jesus, I can only imagine. I hear orange tabbies are, they got like a himbo energy. <laughs> I've never actually had a cat before, so like, Liz getting a cat is a new experience for me. And I have to say, I like them. They're just really interesting and weird. Liz says that uh, Noctis is a little unusual though. He acts a little more dog-like, which is strange. Because he seeks out attention. He wants to be patted. He likes his belly rubbed. I just think that's because, like, she did those things when he was a kitten. And he just likes his mom doing stuff with him. Because, God, if I try to touch his belly, chomp. <laughs> Kyoko's also a red one. And your yeah, ancient size means melamese mix. Like, she should be dead, but she keeps on going. That's awesome. Marin drives Fiji into a frenzy. Oh, <laughs> poor dear. Ah, thanks, Noah. Thanks for coming back. Hope you're doing good. I don't know what it is yet, but it's something. They're trying to draw shapes instead of just things today. That is our mindset on this. Wow, your cat's 18? Dang. I'm glad you're feeling better today, Noah. That's good. I think my migraine's potentially starting to subside, but I can't really tell yet. I think the smells are still getting to me. Hmm. Let's add some dactyl powder to this. Mm. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm. I love that color. Oh heck yeah, look at this. That's so pretty. I like how the two Mikus are just jamming and dancing together on screen. That's adorable. Maybe I should switch to Miku. Um, yeah, I do have the Discord notification on. 
because like it keeps fucking with my shit when I turn it off. Like my sound selection is a uh, has a really hard time coming back to where it should be if I uh, fuck with it. So you put your demons on the animal channel, you know. Animals. Hmm. Let's see. Extension. Let's see if I can get Miku. <laughs> It'll be funny if it tells me, you must subscribe. <laughs> it's like, uh, no, bitch, I own the channel. Hmm. It's loading. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love this. This is good. Mm, that is a nice color. Ah, uh, that's one of my favorite blues right there. Mm. <laughs> we are going with Miku Miku. Or who's not represented right now? We got. Mm, no. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I forgot I got Tortoro. I'm gonna be a Tortoro. It's, it's creepy. It'll work. Yeah, it makes that noise for all things, regardless. When it comes to Discord. Like if I don't have notifications turned off on absolutely everything. And I can't really go check midstream because like my phone is being used for uh yeah. Let's get some more of that pretty blue. Oh mm, all that paint. Look at that beautiful paint footage right there. Auto focus. <laughs> I do because some of the servers I have are very small. Like I have one that's like literally just my friends over in Kansas that you know we talk on occasion. And I've known them for like decades. <laughs> but it's like, ah. Cool. Let me check in on your farm. How are your tomatoes growing? <laughs> Roll that beautiful bean footage. Oh my god. <laughs> Our GM said something like that the other day when we were playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> it was so funny. You have too many discords to do that. See, I keep things simple. Yeah, so I said this all the time. It was really funny. Because I hadn't heard him say that before. I did not expect that to come out of his mouth. It was cool because like Sus started doing that Pokemon yesterday I think it was or the day before. He's doing like a Nuzlocke run where you, you just have like all Nuzlocks an, and like otherwise all the Pokemon that you have are um, just what you find along the way until you get all the Nuzlocks you need <laughs> to have like a full Nuzlocke party. For whatever purposes. It's funny. He's an interesting guy. He and his wife are very into Sailor Moon, so that was really kind of neat to know. They seem like interesting people. Hmm. 
Mmm, look at this blue. Mm. I like the basically survival run, and you can only catch four Pokemon you see on each route. Oh, the first Pokemon too. Yeah. Thanks for explaining that, Z. I know my brain wasn't remembering at all. Or correctly, for that matter. <laughs> he started naming them after states, which was great. And one named like Oklahoma. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I hope he starts that stream again for the next bit because it was fun to watch him. remember what I was doing. Oh, I was talking to my sister when I was watching him. That's right. We were trying to coordinate something, but it didn't work out. Even though we had a lot planned and yeah. But you know, say Louie. They do an emerald in those locks just for fun because it's so impossible to get again want to. I'll be right back. I have to pop on the other stream. Aw, that's sweet. See ya in a bit. And thanks for dropping by if you don't come back. Hmm. Mm, Pokemon. I started playing it back in high school when it came out. Oh, that's how old I am. <laughs> nice octopus. <laughs> it's cool. So, like, I was a freshman, I think, in high school when it came out. But in sophomore year, I started going to an alternative school. I had, like, a mix of ages. And so... Me and uh, some of the some of the kids there would be playing Pokemon, uh, and it was funny to like play with like twelve year olds, and I was like sixteen. We had a good time. It was fun. Pokemon was a good bonding experience for people of all ages. Feeling any calmer yet, see? Mm. I just realized. Yeah, I forgot to do something that should have been done on like Wednesday. You can probably sleep. You should sleep when you get a chance, then. 
I don't mind. I'm just going to be here painting. I might not even finish it tonight. I just feel like I should get a start on it at least. If I get rolling on a work, I get rolling. Keep thinking about cozy summer nights. Looking in under the stars. It's one of those evenings, I guess. <laughs> well, have a wonderful night and get some rest. You definitely need it. Good night, Sam. Take care. Welcome back, Ellie. And thanks for the moment. I really like this blue color. See how well it blends into some dark purples, I think. I've been looking at base amps because I need something bigger. And I realized I'm not going to be able to lift any of these fuckers. Anything that I. Anything that has enough wattage is really freaking heavy. I mean, like, I'm talking 70, 80 pounds. Base cabinets, the speaker cabinets, need to be heavy in order to help the wave of sound produce itself. So they're traditionally made out of more hardwoods and things like that, like birch and... And I'm very mad. <laughs> And disappointed at my dad for selling the refrigerator dolly he had from when he was a mechanic. 
asked him about it one of the last times I saw him. And he's like, oh yeah, well, I didn't think we needed it. And I'm like, mm -hmm, Dad, that was probably the one thing I did need, <laughs> oddly enough. Mm. Mm. The people I play with play loud and need a loud bass amp for that. So I was looking at like 15 inch speakers, but I think what I want is like mm, 410s or 212s, and then like a 500 watt um, head for the cab. And God, it's gonna run me as much as like a used car. It's gonna be like a couple thousand dollars. And I'm like, ugh, I have no idea how I'm gonna do that. Even used would be incredibly expensive. I had any kind of money. Hmm. My bank account has two dollars and sixty three cents in it. Look, I don't need to go anywhere. There's food in the cabinet. Bills are, well, relatively paid. All the important ones are, anyway. Like the electricity bill for this freaking heat. Cause I need air conditioning. You can't live at 108. Turning a wonderful indigo. The wind of the sea. Exam to compete with two freaking high want guitars. <laughs> That's a lovely color. I'm gonna make that nice and strong.
I love that color saturation there. So I'm trying to avoid losing it. That color, that is definitely more of a true indigo. Blueberry, even. <laughs> mm. This is a medication check. If anybody has missed their medication, please make sure to partake. And I've got all mine, so that's good. But I definitely need a drink. <laughs> ASMR drinking. I'm slowly rehydrating. the kid they used to have these they weren't coloring books they were like painting books where each page had um like paint kind of pre-printed on the page i don't know if they still make those anymore they were kind of neat and what you could do is you would get um just some water and a brush and it was, you could just paint. Maybe that's why, I, maybe that's why I enjoy watercolor so much. It's because I used to do that as a kid for hours with these little like character themed paint books that were kind of like coloring books, but paint. I had one for popular kids shows at the time that was like She-Ra and My Little Pony which I mean granted they're still popular now <laughs> since they did reboots uh. okay let's try a different blue mm, okay, that ultra marine blue almost let's try that with a purple 
Let's see what we got. Hmm. Oh, this is very purpley. Some blue greens. We didn't want. Really wanted to get to this section, not as a rest of it. I wanted some added depth as well. Five stars at the jump game. Good job, me. I didn't even know I was playing. Mm. I should add more stars. Look at that stars. Hmm. Freshly Mac from the purification vat. <laughs> that rhymes. Welcome back. Hopefully your angel wings are all dry and freshly washed. A little more polish on your halo. All the purities and sin have been removed. For some reason I am reminded of like portal. <laughs> <laughs> How many partners do you have, Mary? I'm kind of curious. Just like one or two? I mean, you don't have to say it's personal, but... Angels need to spend at least 16% of your time in a carefully calibrated solution of oils, enzymes, and bacteria. Mm. Yawn. That makes sense. <laughs> Being coy about how many is so fun. Yes. <laughs> Just two. That's a lot, though. Two people is a lot to keep up with. I'm glad that you are having a wonderful amount of relationships for you, though. That's good. They know about each other, right? I know it's silly to ask, but I... <laughs> hmm. I'm sure they do. <laughs> it's my sexual heaven. Oh, I bet. Hmm. How glorious. And you love them both very much. Oh, how sweet. That's so sweet, Barry. 
The height can hold many people. I'm glad you found two that are absolutely wonderful. Hopefully they have enough time and you have enough time to enjoy each other's company. That's some of the hardest things about like relationships is scheduling and planning. I couldn't imagine with two. <laughs> My giggle is adorable. I appreciate that, Alex. Thank you. Hmm. I wish more people would tell me things like that more often. <laughs> They're like compliments you would say to somebody, but you're never here for yourself kind of deal. So that is awfully sweet of you, so... I have to remember to keep on there. I think next time I get paint, which is going to be a while because obviously I have a lot, um, I think that I will probably uh, upgrade and get like some actual good paints instead of, you know, these $5 blue light special, if you know what I mean. We say just because you've made explicit references to both a boy and a girl. Yes, you have. Obviously, that's bisexual heaven right there. As a bisexual, I uh, firmly agree that would be delightful. I changed some settings on my stream output to hopefully ensure that I have less lagginess and frame rate drop and things like that. And I don't know if it's made a difference or not because I don't watch my own streams. How terrible it would be. But if it looks nice, let me know. Can I change the output to be a smaller screen size instead of the 10, 1028 by 768 I think it is for HD, I forget. The 1080p, I went from 1080p down to like 720p basically. One of the reasons I like lo-fi hip-hop is they always have interesting bass lines. Well, generally speaking. This one has an interesting bass line.
one I'm always curious about people's love lives. I think that's why I do love tarot readings. Even though like serious occultists think it's taboo. Like, bitch, I'm nosy. <laughs> I don't have any problem looking into things. Hmm. I do not mind being a snoop if I want to be. Um, you want me to snoop for other people? Yeah, I can do that. I don't care. I'm an astrologer, like, I snoop on people, like, and their personalities all the time. That's what, what we do, so, would would terribly be any different. I don't know, it feels condescending when people are like, oh, well, you, sh you do love readings. I don't do those. It's against my personal moral code. Oh, bitch, it's not against everybody's. to get back into formal chart reading stuff. I'm having a hard time just putting one simple chart together because my brain is so scattered. It's like ADHD astrologer has uh, ADHD and executive functioning problems. So organizing everything is so tough. Hmm. <laughs> oh, thanks, Barry. I appreciate that. It's shocking to do those readings. Oh no. How, how gauche of me. I always find it funny because, like, everybody's. Who not? Even, like, asexuals, I would think, would be interested in a love writing. Because love is more than just romance, and more than just sex and all that. And love is, you know, human compassion, desire, pleasure. Uh, Ace and Arrow people would have interest in that regardless anyway, so it's not like everybody's affected by that. Maybe someone else is poo-pooing usually because I have a hard time in love. Which I totally get, because I do, personally. You only feel juice for doing tarot very intermittently. I... That's, that's kind of how I feel when it comes to astrology, when it comes to, like, more formalized things, I've come to realize. I'm excited by your tarot deck, though. Like, your tarot program. Maybe that'll help with your, uh, you know, juiciness. Hmm, that's kind of sort of dirty. Berries juiciness. <laughs> okay, no, that was really dirty. Uh, don't tell your, don't tell your significant others. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's pop out those eyeballs, that's so funny. You know when you told me my giggle was... What did you say? My giggle was adorable? Mm -hmm. Very adorable. You're very adorable.
<laughs> Don't know me, Missy. A terrible program will help for some angel reasons. I think they're interesting angel reasons, I would imagine. I don't think they would be dumb angel reasons. Ha! There, I got you. That's what you get for saying no you. <laughs> hmm. I just keep thinking of like what kind of benefits come with knowing an angel <laughs> They must think you're absolutely sweet as pie. Blake! Blake, hi! Oh, I'm beautiful and fun. Actually, one person want to come over there and give you a big hug and platonic smooch and get ramen with you. Ramen sounds amazing, by the way. And then we can get ice cream. Ice cream is also amazing. Though I would go for sorbet because ice cream actually does the number of my tummy. I make fun of all the normies at the mall. Okay, bye. Back to your stream. <laughs> oh, that's freaking adorable. Thank you, Blake. I appreciate you. Hopefully you're having a wonderful stream. <laughs> ice cream you know the best way to eat ice cream is definitely uh, on an ice cream cone like literally I only enjoy ice cream on an ice cream cone it's just something about the tactile sensation of licking something which sounds really dirty but like ice cream's not enjoyable by the spoonful it's somewhat okay when it comes in like bar form but uh, I really just like ice cream on a cone I'm terrible for that ramen sounds amazing though I haven't had a good ramen in forever not since I went and visited a friend in Glendale. There was one at the mall. Oh, you get what I made about ice cream? That's really nice, Alice. You can have ice cream too. I really enjoy ices and sorbets though. Like, fruity versus creamy. Ice cream by the cone is objectively better. Be a mouthfeel. Exactly! Because you get to enjoy, like, the tactile sensation of, I don't know, large surface area with the ice cream, and you're not, like, hmm, you're not having to worry about how cold it is because it's just your tongue, which also sounds very dirty. <laughs> hmm. I'm okay with that, I think, though. That was nice of Blake to stop by. That was really sweet. Especially since <laughs> since she's streaming. Hmm. 
Change reasons. You're tied to the concept of deliberate artificial improvement to systems. Hmm. And if you program a tarot deck, you can look at each bit up close and make any tweaks needed to fit you better. This is true. That makes sense. I am one for system improvement and process improvement. what I said. Difficult to explain, but everyone just gets what I mean <laughs> when it comes to ice cream cones, right? Yeah. So, like, I have some um, low sugar ice cream in the freezer, and it's like peanut butter, which is, like, good. It's a little boring. It's like peanut butter and vanilla. But, like, they don't make any, like, fun flavors for low sugar, which, I mean, I have to have because diabetic, but I was moving my camera, sorry, because I noticed whenever I turned this way, she kept going out, um, but I have, they make, oh, they make these, uh, sugar cones, and I put that in quotes, um, they're by Enlightened, and they are low carb, um, low sugar ice cream cones, which has been... A freaking godsend because it's fucking 108 outside and cold ice cream is beloved. <laughs> so using a deck while you have this idea in your head, long in a hard to articulate way. I mean, I can understand that though. Like, if you're forming a system of tarot including how to use the deck making a program makes absolute sense making it a system in order to perfect it and make it what you want it to be you shouldn't be doing a deck you should be working on the new one i mean possibly you can always jot down your ideas or, uh, sometimes I use, like, when I'm in a creative swing for music, I will wake up, <laughs> or I'm falling asleep for that matter, um, and I'll be using my cell phone, uh, the recording app on it, in order to sing to the melody line or an idea, you know, you can, there's lots of ways to take notes while you're doing something else. For me, that's something else is obviously trying to sleep while I was having music thoughts. <laughs> I haven't had any while. I guess my muse left. But I've been having a lot of... Like, with music specifically. I, uh, am playing a lot of other people's music, so that has a lot to do with it. There's just no headspace, because you're learning somebody else's stuff. Look at me getting a little itty-bitty corner here. Sometimes you need to do somebody else's stuff, regardless of whatever medium you're in when it comes to creative activity because you can come back later and refine your own um. do I have any decks next to me <sighs> oddly enough I don't I'm a bit of a deck collector though I need a reading for bed oh that sounds cozy I can't believe it's going to be Tuesday there, and it's just getting to be Monday here. I have stacks of decks. And I actually purged my decks, like, in eBay stuff. I eBayed my last 
eBaying was mm, probably about 10 years ago now and I got rid of like 15 decks pared it down to four and that seemed to suit me for a while because I kind of stopped doing tarot for quite a bit I go in phases though and uh yeah I kept those four until I got uh back into it and then I bought one deck I bought the dark wood tarot and it was really good and then I bought another deck and then I bought another deck and that seems to be how that works for me I'm always looking for something specific hmm from different personalities and they range from reading different things. I have to say out of my decks, my favorite right now other than CC because I got to make a tester for that. Um, other than CC's I think my favorite is still the normal tarot recently. Like, I thought I would like the Alleymans more than I do. It's just really large and hard to use. Oh, you're brushing teeth. Angel's got teeth. Like, I know Angel's got eyes. I didn't know Angel's got teeth. Are they little sharky teeth? Those turkey chompers go chomp, 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 chomp. Okay, now I'm getting really. Maybe I should go to bed. <laughs> uh, I'm getting silly and thinking about sharky teeth. She's an angel girl and she got teeth? I know, it's shocking. And chumpy teeth, too, I'm sure. No wonder you have a girlfriend and a boyfriend it's because you got teeth you, you, you don't get teeth very often not no more ooh ooh that color oh this is gonna be lovely hold on mm. let's see this oh, oh, oh that's what I wanted mm. teeth privilege I mean Hashtag America right there. We don't have, like... Mm. Even our, like, public aid type medical services do not provide any dental services. That's how fucked up America is. Yeah, no, no dental. You're just screwed. Uh, dental coverage sucks there, too. That sucks. We should all, like, have Britain's teeth thing. Because apparently they got decent stuff now. Unlike before. Mm. They have sucky other healthcare laws, though. So never mind. Hmm. You have an appointment tomorrow for your teeth. Oh, wow. What a coinkydink. Oh, this is really dark. Look at this. Mm. Gotta get your angel teeth checked out, huh? I really like my dentist. <laughs> like, it's so hard to find a good dentist, so like, 
I have been lucky that I found a good one. So I've been sticking with them for like, since I moved here. Angel dentists are scary. Why they pull out the eyeballs and be like, mmm, let me look at you. And then like, 18 eyeballs pop out. Be not afraid. There is, this is the scariest moment of my existence. Uh, when they pull out that drill, it sure is. <laughs> Imagine if they were actual angel dentists, though. That'd be incredible. So, I have a question since angels. Are you more like a biblical angel, or are you like. Is it other ones? Like, what's, what's the. Because, I mean. Angels have existed outside of other cultures, or winged people, I should say, winged deities and whatnot. Like, um, in the, uh, the Sumerians and the Babylonians had winged important deities and things. I don't know why. I doubt it. I'm more like the angels have teeth that can just think over your What? <gasps> that, that would make sense. Just like they would continue to grow eyelashes for their many, many eyes. Mm. Teeth. With the teeth, I have cute hands. Thank you. Appreciate that. Don't get all horny for my hands now. Hey, <laughs> uh, balls. Oh, okay. So this is funny. So my sister and I, we both have the same. Um, like freckle spot in the exact same spot on the exact same hand I know like mm, hands my parents called the maker's mark they were clever You're an angel I'm officially saying Christian's got it wrong mm. here to that You have that same freckle. Well, does anybody else in your family? I mean, it's on my um, it's on my left hand. You have same freckle. <laughs> Not exactly sure what it is but mainstream yeah that's my left hand the screen is flipped no yes yes okay sorry yeah it is because this is my left hand maybe I should flip this hold on a second <laughs> I thought it was. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, this is my left hand. It's my bass playing hand. You can see the callus. Mm, look. Let's see if it zooms in. You can see the callus on my fingers. <laughs> my hands are pretty, but they are rough. <laughs> I appreciate that. 
probably go top dollar at a hand fetish website. I had a friend who was actually a hand model. Did like uh, pictures for watches and things like that. It was pretty interesting. Now I'm just imagining that, ma'am, I'm looking respectfully at your hands. I appreciate that. I wasn't saying that you were, I was just saying, they go for top dollar. <laughs> friend that sells feet pick took me up I want to sell feet pick no nah, but really my feet not so much I have too much callus maybe when I was younger I wear sandals too much because it's like a hundred and eight out <laughs> <laughs> Why would I wear socks? <laughs> Not with this weather. <laughs> mm -hmm. I doubt my feet. Just, just too much callus. Like I know the condition of my feet. I'm a diabetic, so I have to. They make you check your feet every morning just to make sure you haven't stepped on anything and cut yourself, because you'll you. As a diabetic, you're going to develop neuropathy in your feet, so you can't feel anything. And so you don't know when you've cut yourself. And then things get infected. And then you can die from it or lose your limb. So I check my feet every morning like a good girl. Make sure I haven't stepped on anything. Check when I get out of the shower. Check it before I go to bed. weird like the things that as a diabetic just change like cutting my toenails or my fingernails I want you to go to like manicure and pedicure because like again you can cut yourself I haven't gotten a pedicure I'm gonna do my own nails so I've been naughty in that sense which is why I check them so often, I guess. Mm. They're not bad, but they're also also I'm in China cage. Mm. Even though they don't look bad, they uh, they're just feet. I have to keep my hands in really good condition because of plain base. I actually have a glove to practice with if it gets a little too, like, if I start getting, like, rug burn basically on my fingers from the strings. I ain't gonna sell my feet pick. <laughs> but no shame to those who do. That line ain't no shame. Baby, do your thing. <laughs> Just kind of make sure you're ahead of the game. <laughs> uh, that's how I feel about that kind of thing.
It's like 6.45 if you're on the east coast of the United States right now. It is an early morning. Monday. V pics. <laughs> Send VTuber V pics. That'd be so funny. Are you up late, Noah, or are you up early? What's the month and day of your birthday? I'm trying to remember your s astrology signs. Are you a Gemini? I forget. May 29th. Um, that would be Gemini, I think. That's fine. I surely didn't believe in you either. The signs are made up and the stars don't matter. Hmm. An astrologer saying. <laughs> The signs are made up and the stars don't matter? I mean, come on. Let's be real. I am happy your God believes in you. Ooh, you got green tea. Green tea is good. Mmm, jasmine green tea. Oh, now I want tea. Actually... Green tea, ice cream. That's what I want. On an ice cream cone. With some jasmine tea. Now that I'm thinking about it. Like, to sip on iced. It's a. Uh, it's full there, isn't it, Barry? Threw a potion on a dame. I got potion of rehydrate myself with some fucking protein because like I don't get enough. Okay, head pat. Wait, posture check first. Mm. Oh, my back actually popped finally. I've been waiting for that all day. And and finally we, we have the head pat. Head pat regime. Mmm, that's nice. It's a good head pat. Thank you, Barry. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll have enough followers that I can actually do those kind of things. Because that would be fun. Like, I'm sure you have fun with yours. I'd make icons and everything. Little chat icons. Because you know me, I do graphics and I like doing them because they're fun. I just have to get on a binge. <laughs> I'd probably do astrology ones. <laughs> ah. But it'd be like bullshit signs. I'd just pick like... um constellation signs constellations that aren't even on the horizon we'd have like Cestus and uh, um, that one Argo we'll have Argo Lollipicus Cheerfus <laughs> Hydraticus <laughs> we're gonna name stuff like that and give them star signs uh,
Mm. That would be so fun. Make there a uh, fine brief 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 do like a mini chart reading where someone gives me their sun moon and uh, rising sign and I give them a uh, I tear them down <laughs> Um, I'm that astro, <laughs> astro bitch that uh, calls people out. <laughs> oh, so you're a Capricorn. Um, how's that money feel? <laughs> Is that does that keep you warm on on late nights? You know, bullshit like that, like stereotypical astrology perceptions. Five rib riff. Five rib riff. Five rib riff. Five rib riff. <laughs> Read my astrology for bullshit <laughs> for 10k. <laughs> It'll be great. Mm. I'd make that like a cheap one. It'd be like. Uh, astrology call out post, basically. Mm. I'd have a like random beetle fact redeem where I'd tell you some weird ass drama or some like super obscure fact about the beetles for no reason other than the fact that, that I know them They'd be completely useless. Ooh, I'd make them salacious facts about the Beatles. That would be great. I know a lot of salacious facts. <laughs> I think I, I think I totally would do like bullshit astrology call out. <laughs> That would be great. Mm. I like how randomly the stream avatars are going up the little little ladder. Dangerous. <laughs> I'd do an ASMR sexy talk as a regime. That'd be great. It'd be so fun. Read like some porny thing. Ooh, or maybe it would, there we go. There we go. Um, like sexy talk to somebody like but with a bad come online <laughs> it'd be like poorly done poorly done come online yeah dangerous dance done candle done candle do a funny accent redeem just be like ooh, no do a mid-atlantic accent redeem crump command dance candle mid-atlantic you know that's what my brain defaults to internally for my monologue is like i can't do a kiwi accent i'm no <laughs> So, like, you know how in the early 40s they had that Hollywood accent that was a little weird? You know, it was the, the uh, mid Atlantic accent that was.
supposed to be a cross between the British and the East Coast American, um, so that way all audiences could understand. Which is why, like, early movie stars sound kind of funny. Oh my god, it's transatlantic. <laughs> it's the transatlantic. <laughs> I mean, basically, though. It was supposed to do that. Anyway. So you have, like, some really, really interesting dialogues. Like, Catherine Hepburn was very much known for her accent, and it was a mid-Atlantic, really darling, that kind of thing going on. Where it sounds like upper crust, but it's not. It was just that mid, classy as fuck like me. Damn right. But that's what my brain defaults to is like a mid Atlantic accent, and sometimes it's masculine and deeper, and sometimes it's feminine. That's just how my brain is. I think that's why I'm a gender. Because my brain can't decide what gender. My brain doesn't have a gender. It's just like. We're just gonna have this accent, it's gonna be fine. You're gonna have an interesting dialogue in your head, and you're not sure if what's what. Very is the picture of class. Uh, what class of angel are you, Barry? about it. It's kind of interesting though that my brain's like, mm, I don't know what gender you're going to be thinking in this voice today. And then it's like, mm, that's, that's very masculine. I guess I am that today. I think that's why I decided to classify myself as agender, is because, like, I'm not non-binary, I'm just flip-floppy, with, like, at the same time, I'm, uh, I'm just piloting this meat and bone mecca, that's how I feel, like, if I feel disembodied. <laughs> You joke, but my mom's British, and I actually have a proper upbringing in here, just in case the Queen visits for tea. Oh, you've got the posh accent. That's great. Instead of the scousy your mom speaks, huh? <laughs> no, I do think. I love the little Verpudlian accent. It was great. I met a Liverpudlian once when I was in my 20s and I was um, in college. I was using the Los Angeles public transit system um, to take a train down to somewhere to get home, I forget, um, for like a couple days. And yeah, I met this Liverpudlian girl. And uh, I was like, huh, funny meeting somebody from Liverpool here. She was just around my age. She was just on vacation. And it was so funny because she was like, ah, we Liverpudlians are everywhere. We're like cockroaches. And I'm thinking, don't compare yourself to cockroaches. <laughs> but if that's the case, why I need to see more? <laughs> I love that accent. My voice sounds really enunciated to you. That's why it actually weirds you out. I can understand that. You deliberately flop back and forth between refined and crude to make sure no one's making any assumptions about me for my voice. This... I can see that. I just have 
different voices, I've decided. Your mom left Liverpool at a young age. Enough to be influenced, but it's very deep in there. Yeah, we form our vocal, like, sounds and things by the age of four. So, like, everything before then is more ingrained regardless of what happens. Which is why I have an interesting speech pattern even for a West Coaster. Cause mm, my dad grew up from California. Was, his family was from Ohio. And my mom's family was from Oregon. She too spent a lot of time in California and Oregon. So, between the two. I have like California, Oregon, and Ohio in there somewhere. And then it's class. Like, what? You know, like middle class English, upper middle class English versus, you know, just regular dialects. I mean, there's. It's all regional weird dialects anyway. And then you throw in, like, my weird ass mid Atlantic, that sometimes happens. Everything else is just learned. So, like, my vocal fry, for example, that you can hear right now, that is definitely from living in Oregon. Everybody talks as a vocal fry. Also, uh, the fact that I stage everything like a question, like, there's no real end to anything, is so. there? Except when I do it purposefully. That is also very much a Northwestern thing. Speech patterns are interesting. I just met him very out with people and just looks at them and was like, mate. Let's have a cheeky Nando's on me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Alan. It's fantastic. I'm sure I did not do justice to any accent <laughs> at that point. And honestly, that should have been me mum. Me mum left Liverpool <laughs> at a young age. Not my mum. That's too proper. <laughs> Working class people in Liverpool. Me mum. I'm just kidding. Nando's was a big meme on the internet with Americans not understanding British. I mean, honestly, I don't remember what Cheeky Nando's is. I may have to Google that. I like how you said the internet, um, like we're not on it. Like it's a third thing. <laughs> the idea was to explain it while using as much slang as possible. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh, that's wonderful. Honestly, we need more things like that on us. Harmless pranks against Americans. It's about Maccas. So you know when you go to the town with the lads and you all realize you're Hank Marvin, so you say, lads, let's go to Maccas. But it's me. What about your mate Smithy, aka the Dance Source Rex, has left some moolah on his Nando's gift card and he's like, mate, let's have those cheeky Nando's on me. And he goes, Smithy, my son, you're an absolute ledge, so you go have an 
extra cheeky Nando's with cider and of top quality banter. Moolah. Yep. <laughs> Look at you. Proper spelling on the, uh, on the slang. That's the canonical spelling of these things, right? That's gonna be based in direct from Reddit. Aww. Reddit gets an F in slang. How do you go Maccas on somebody? That's my question. to go to McDonald's. Oh, that makes sense. They just left out the two part. Okay, that's also really funny because Paul McCartney's nickname was Macca. McCartney. And he is a vegetarian. <laughs> if we wake up Z by summoning him with a vegetarian word. sleep schedule back to more normal because hopefully I'll be getting back to work in August. Mm, but I have a couple weeks to get things sorted. today come to think of it I had points on my little McDonald's reward thing so I got myself a chicken sandwich and then proceeded to buy another chicken sandwich because they're like the cheapest thing on the menu and then got like um, a McDouble and I took the buns off of all of them and used the chicken sandwich patties because I asked for them plain um, <laughs> as a bun. <laughs> so I was like, high protein, low carb. <laughs> Unless I've spent too much time on the net and my quaint kiwi linguistics have been tainted. Oh no! Oh no, I think they spelled things wrong on the internet. How dare they? I do think regional dialect is interesting though. Like it's funny hearing CC say certain things or very <laughs> you have interesting dialect on occasion. Like this as an instance. For instance. Like I'm sure I do too, like growing up in a Somewhat interesting place in Oregon. Sometimes it slips out and you say someone's a legend unironically or something. It's rare. Oh, that's cute. I think that's adorable. Mm. 
What a good angel you are for saying that, people. Unironically. Ah, oh, you attacking me. Ah, oh, don't attack. You attacked. You attacked. Tutorial. Oh, Tutorial got punted the fuck off. Did you see that? Just punted the straight right. Oh, there I am. <laughs> okay, so you're like, let's punt this bitch and then let's go to play some fucking slots. What are you, a monster? <laughs> like from a film? Hmm. Lust, violence, and gambling, right? Sex and violence. I'm gonna make my own moon. It's gonna have gambling and hookers. Blackjack and hookers, that's what it was. Futurama. We're wailing on the moon. We're wailing on the moon. And sing this wailing tune. I don't remember it all. Ah, there we go. We're wailing on the moon. We carry a harpoon. But there ain't no whale, so we tell tall tales and sing our wailing tune. Thank you. I liked it when Bender went all like singing folk tunes because of the magnet. Drink that corn, I don't care. Drink that corn, I don't care. That episode with Beck was kind of funny too. Where uh, Bender loses control of his arms for a while and his legs and his body. And then he has like those little arms from around his neck. Mm. Thompson's teeth. The only teeth strong enough to eat other teeth. <laughs> Breakfast. Get something good, Alice. You need. You need no good breakfast this morning, I think. Hmm. What's with the question mark face? Taken off my makeup today. <gasps> so it's a bad idea to eat an apex carnivore to do heavy metal accumulation. Even a tea. So you're telling me that uh, I shouldn't eat uh, T Rexes? But you know, dinosaur meat takes like chicken. <laughs> Absolutely not. Are you sure? I really. I mean, I'm a I'm a cat. I sh I shouldn't get birds, right? Diamonds are just big birds. You know that's gonna happen, right? If we like somehow manage to get and make dinosaurs recreate them, people are gonna be like, I wonder what they taste like. And then have like dino burgers and dino steak and shit. Even though they're just gonna taste like chicken, probably. And then it's gonna be like something for the ultra rich at first. And then as soon as like McDonald's gets it, then it's like so passe. And dino meat's gonna become a standard meat like beef. Mm. 
Blake. Oh my goodness, with 10 viewers. Holy moly, how was your stream? Thank you for popping in earlier. Hopefully you're having a wonderful stream. I am doing some esoteric work and painting. You're very drunk. Oh, that is lovely. What were we drinking tonight? Do tell. I am curious. I really wish I could drink. I just found uh, two days ago a nice bottle of scotch. And uh, also some Irish whiskey from Ireland. And uh, then some Canadian blended whiskey and some Jack Daniels whiskey. It was a whiskey kind of time. <laughs> You're gonna pass out? Oh, lots of rum and coke. Rum and coke's delicious. I loved that. You're gonna pass the fuck out. You wanted to bring me friends. Thank you for friends. I appreciate that. I'm pretty and fun and wonderful and a good artist. I appreciate you too. Please lurk. If you get the spins, put one foot on the floor. This is your uh, suggestion from a former bartender. Put one single foot on the floor and it will help. <laughs> Thank you for the platonic smoochies. I appreciate it. You're amazing too. I love hanging out on your stream. Have a good night. Two big glasses of water. That's going to recirculate the alcohol. <laughs> You're going to get so fucking drunk. It's going to be worse. <laughs> Uh, wait until you wake up to drink a little more water. <laughs> Rad. I mean, not to say I haven't done it myself <laughs> when I was able to drink. Uh, you're going to be like, what the fuck? And then, like, you're going to be like, oh, I know, I'm puking. So, like, um, get a bucket, just a suggestion, <laughs> or a big bowl. Oh, drinking can be so fun, especially with friends. And hello to everybody. I appreciate you being here. Hopefully you're having a wonderful night, having hung out with Blake drinking and playing games, I'm guessing. Um, we're having a chill art stream. I am doing some work for a friend. Um, I normally do, other than art streams, because these are like infrequent. Um, I play a lot of retro console games because I have retro consoles. And then when my computer's being nice, I'll actually play something that's uh, like <laughs> somewhat recent. Um, Mondays I have a Mario stream where I play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. It's actually my first time ever playing it and apparently it's a classic. I bought it when it came out on GameCube, but I just never played it. I was also thinking of uh, doing some um, Donkey Konga, because I found my Kongas. I have to say, if you wish to follow, you can also get a stream avatar, like these little creatures below. Um, and then you can also um, change what they are. I think Blake has them now in, in their stream. So, feel free to check out the ones that I got. I've actually been making some for Bugs Fable. Or Bug Fables, that's it. Uh, which is actually kind of Paper Mario-like and very inspired by Paper Mario from my friend Cecilia's stream. Um, I'm not quite finished, but I've got four characters completed. I've got Leaf and Kabu, Envy, and then Ult Ultimax. That's a fun stream to watch too. CC is really fun. We also have our resident blueberry bird who also does streams. And they're from uh, the other hemisphere. <laughs> so it's night there, but it is uh, tomorrow. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining me, even if it's just briefly. I'm going to be doing. Uh, 
more work on this painting. Which, good luck figuring out what it is. Because I myself don't know. Which is half the fun of my watercolors. It's like, oh, what is this going to be? Let's see. We don't really do happy little trees, but we do smooth lines and enjoyable paint colors. And we talk interesting topics. Um, like Blake Stream, for that example. Um, pretty much just don't say anything derogatory. And we can have some interesting conversations. You're all more than welcome to stick around. I think we were last talking about um, eating dinosaurs. Barry had said uh, it was a bad idea to eat apex carnivores due to heavy metal accumulation. I was like, but then how can we eat dinosaurs? I want to eat a T-Rex. Wait, wait, that sounds like a... Uh, <laughs> that sounds like one of those bad romance novels by Chuck Tingle, which I should say is not bad. Chuck Tingle is actually rather entertaining. But you know what I mean. I think he did <laughs> get eaten and eating out a dinosaur. Ah, Chuck Tingle is a national treasure. Mm. Hopefully you all are having a lovely night and relaxing. That's what we want to do, is we want to wind down with a little bit of lo-fi because it's the most unobtrusive when it comes to uh, what they have available. And just chill and watch me paint these shapes. And please do follow. I haven't yet made affiliate. And I would like to do that in this first interesting stream redeems. In my uh, more interesting parts of my life, I am also an astrologer. But the funny kind. <laughs> uh, so I wanted, I was thinking of doing bad astrology takes as a redeem. Mm, and, uh, of course, cat girl cuteness. We have to, because, yeah, everybody likes a good cat girl. Oh, and then talk dirty to somebody, in, for the person who redeemed, but it would have to be, like, really cheesy bad lines. I don't have to make them up on the spot. Oh, and word bands. Word bands are so fun. I can't say a certain thing. Or talking in funny voices or single accents would be nice. Or with uh, something at the end of a sentence, like, well, yeah, for example, would be good. Uh, oh my goodness. I love that that uh the t Totoro had <laughs> Goku hair. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize it had that on. That is freaking amazing. Thank you very much for the follow in from Mita. If just to see the freaking Goku. <laughs> Super Saiyan blue hair. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love that kind of thing. I love how goofy these can get. I was thinking, since Stream Avatars actually has a... Uh, sorry, my thing lost tracking because I went too far to the side there. Mm, I love the can shot. <laughs> Stream Avatars has the Sailor Moon characters, but they only have the first five. I was thinking after I complete the Bugs one. I would finish that up for everybody and get the rest of the Sailor Senshi because I'm a huge Sailor Moon nerd and I like doing digital art along with uh, this more tactile 
He's very ASMR. You can see my microphone here. He's very smooth. One thing I like about watercolors is how deep the colors can get, and you don't expect that from watercolors. Because a lot of watercolor paintings aren't that vibrant, they're very washed, they're single stroke kind of things. And I like to push a lot of color. And feel free to chat, I love active chatters, just as uh, Blake does in her stream. Always fun to interact. And this is very much a safe space, so you're more than welcome to speak however you would like. As long as it's not bigoted, of course. <laughs> or get or something to get me banned on Twitch. Oh my goodness. That's the last thing I need. Hmm. I was thinking of maybe breaking out the greens. Maybe doing some tree like figures. Mm. I do like a nice cozy stream down, especially for going to bed. Especially if you've had a absolutely raucous night with Blake, that must have been so fun. I know I uh, enjoy that kind of fun stream. I just, I got working on a work and I was like, oh, since I'm painting, I probably should stream it. Which I'm glad to do. It makes me nervous. <laughs> Ah, uh, it'd be fun if Blake wasn't so drunk to have him around for a bit more. Hmm, look at that color. I love this kind of like dark cyan teal. Hmm, let's see if I can pull more of that out. I believe it was this color here. I don't know if you can see how loaded on my paintbrush that is. And it's really dark. It's got a lot of water to it. Mm, it's still the blue. If you would like to, I do have a Discord. Mm, I'm a little bit quiet. I'm mm, pretty small. If you'd like an invite, feel free to let me know. Oh, I hope Blake's getting some good rest and not shaking her guts out. That's the absolute worst part about drinking. Hmm. So some of the more modern games I play is I've been playing House Flipper because Mm, house flipper. Um, but I also started playing, um, what was it called? I just stick my paintbrush in my mouth. Uh, <laughs> I started playing the Bridge Constructor Portal recently, which was really fun, but also made my brain hurt, <laughs> to be honest. Let's be honest, my brain hurts too often. I'm a chronic migraine sufferer, so it's a little bit of a joke, but also not. <laughs> uh, but, oh, one modern game I really love playing is Sayonara Wild Hearts. That one is a favorite. It is so wonderfully queer and so heavy on music and theme. And oddly enough, it has a tarot thing to it, which is really fun. I'll have to do another run through of that. The story is so good and you get so involved. First time I played it, I cried at the end, like a freaking baby. It touched me, touched my heart. 
Oh, yeah, we also have like a like a live candle. Look at that. High dolly hair. Spare no expense. <laughs> hmm. So, I think the blue maybe weighs. Mm. Tarmito on five. Oh, from the jump gate. You know what? Let me get you some stars. That'll be fun. So, the stars you can gamble and do fun things like that with. And battle and bet. Cause trouble. It's fun. Alright, I think we are finally gonna bring in some greens here. Let's see what kind of green. <laughs> nice. Totoro's racking up the points here. Way to go. Yeah, let's put some greens up here. Ooh. Let's turn into a lovely emerald. <laughs> I love that those are, I put a ladder out there and was like, let's just see what happens. And yeah, the avatars just kind of walk up it and do fun stuff. Mm, I love this color. It is deep and rich. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I really hope everybody's having a wonderful night though. I'm just relaxing to some chill beats. Oh. Blend the colors and create an interesting work here. I always thought watching painting on TV was so relaxing and fascinating at the same time. It was like suddenly there's something out of nothing. Hmm. Oh, also if you can go to the extension for the avatars. Um, and it'll take you to some controls and you can play slots and stuff like that. Oh, this is a medication check if you haven't taken some early morning or late night medication that you were due to take. Please be sure to take some. Just a friendly reminder. take a drink though for sure it's been hot here it's, it was 108 today oh you can hear me echoing through here that's funny hopefully it's much cooler where you all are at I do not recommend 108 it is a little too hot mm, let's grab some more of this green we mm, added a nice touch of a uh, more yellowy green. Let's bring some of that in. Yeah, look at that. That's a nice color. Hmm. That's pretty. It's almost like a dark emerald or a barrel. Dark shade, maybe. Hmm. A little bit of blue into it. Load up that brush. Hmm. You can see. Let's 
nice. It turned out more green. lean into that green a bit. Let's get some earthly and foresty shapes going. They all about smooth lines. water on that brush. There we go. Just enough to pull this in. We don't want too much, otherwise one, the uh, paper will bubble, but also um, won't be as saturated as we like. I like a good dark saturated color, I think. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, land masses, maybe. Mm. Look how it pulls that yellow and makes it such a such a dark green, more true green. Yeah, I bet you. Yeah. I can zoom in. Mm. Well, yeah, I can. Alright. Let's get a little zoomed in here. Yeah, now I can see this lovely color. As I'm pulling it, I'm gonna get a little more detail here. Camera change. But look how it pulls that yellow and the blue. Hmm. detail that integrates the other colors. Hmm, I'm gonna take it off a of zoom because I feel the quality is not nearly like it was. Mm. So let's go with this bright green here. I'm going to add a little bit of brightness to this kind of true green we've got going on. A little bit of blue, too. Yes. Mm. Yeah, I actually need a little bit of water here. Mm, too much water. Guess what? We'll make it work. Oh, hmm. We just have to let it dry, but Push this color here to get an edge. Yes, look at that. 
the shoreline. Hmm. A little bit of depth here. Mm. Again, I do like active shadows, so if you feel like saying anything, feel free. Mm. I'm just working on this uh, countryside, I think it is now. Mm. If you would like a uh, stream avatar, go ahead and uh, follow button and then hit the extension which I'll put up once more there we go and you can change your avatar and do moves with them they are quite entertaining Alright, let's bring this brightness to this green. We can see on it. We can get our camera to focus. Mm. Not right now, apparently. Oh, look at this. This feels good right there. Yes. Mm. Very lush green rolling hills. Lake, maybe. Mm. Let's see how this blends in. Good, yeah. Mm. What a line is. some of this color here. Mm. There we go. That way we can pull it into these shapes right here. Maybe there's an outlet. It bumps up a little bit, like a tree root almost. But certainly out of mass. There we go. Look at the end of that shoreline. It just appears there. in the water. This one just blends into the water. Let's see if we can get some better shape for it. There we go. this light spot it is different <laughs> it's like a highlight on the water mm. let's, let's work with this light green to see if we can pull some green yellow if it's too blue for it hold on let's get this cleaned up except for Green that we will now have. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Hmm. That's good. Yes. Hmm. Let's use some of that to highlight over here. 
this to be a very diverse section of green. This will also allow us to pull some of the darker colors in. Yes. Like that. Like the way it rolls. We have crossover. Moving in some of this yellow. There we go. Yeah. Hmm. Not to soften those edges. I really like them on that blue. Mm. Let's see where this yellow green takes us. A little extra color on the brush. So we can add some. There we go. Let's see. Maybe there's like a little hobbity green here. Pathways. Corners and looks. Really interesting spot. Hmm, look at that. Oh, we got out a moisture. There we go. That blue really proliferates here. I'm bringing up that yellow to a beautiful green now. Hmm. And brush. <laughs> oh. I thank you all for sticking around with me, even if you're sleepy and not chatty tonight. I imagine Blake left you all quite in a tizzy. I think that kind of stream and that kind of effect on people. Which I find highly entertaining to tell you the truth. <laughs> so I enjoy her streams. It was lively and rambunctious. Like a good after party. How this folds. I just love that. Let's get some more of this faded green. Oh, it's getting more and more yellowy. Which is good. That's what we want. Be a little place for me to dream. I fall asleep too. And comforting rolling hills. Just a little place for me. Thank you. 
There's no worry, there's no pressure. Okay. You can just really relax. There's a little cliff here. Get a little dark area. Just like that. These shapes take form just like dreams and dots. Mm. Welcome back, Alice. I've been raided by the Ghoul Gang. And the lovely Lake got so toasted that they went to bed drunk <laughs> uh, It has been a pleasure having the remainder of the Google gang hang out for the evening though Let's see if any survive <laughs> mm, Hopefully you are having a wonderful night still, Alice Mm. We're making cliffside here. Hopefully, you enjoyed Blake's stream. I'm curious what it was about, <laughs> considering the drinking. I like that they do so much. You can have breakfast for dinner tonight. And dinner for breakfast. So what are we having for dinner or breakfast? Would that be a jackfist? <laughs> or is it binner? Binner sounds like it's something you'd chuck out. So it can't be binner. It has to be jackfist. Which... It's funny because you deck somebody with your fist. Skewers. Ooh. Meow. That sounds good. That sounds absolutely amazing. Chicken skewers are delicious. Mm. I like teriyaki. Mm. Oh, it's nice and warm, so it fits the cozy vibe. I appreciate that. I'm glad that it's warm. Like, mm, I wish that was enjoyable here right now. Let me put it that way. Because I prefer to be cold and then get cozy. Like, I can always take off more layers when it's 
so hot outside like it has been. We can't do that any longer. I'm just going to be naked. Mm. Our candle is behaving. <laughs> I thought it would pour wax all over like it did last time because I had another similar candle. But instead, this one's behaving and it's just staying there. Mm. This is a shell, by the way. Mm. I actually should dump the water. So I have a little patch of dirt. And it can soak in that way. We don't have to worry about dumping the so this shell is really neat, right? I picked it up from the beach when I went and visited the Jersey Shore in April. It's huge. It's actually really pretty, even though there's paint on it. It felt fitting for paint. So I've been painting with it ever since I picked it up. I actually painted on that trip. I'm going to add some of this moon water. Because esoteric works require things. <laughs> it is 67 in your house. Oh, that sounds so amazing. And you're wrapped up in a blanket, eating and watching. That sounds wonderfully comfortable. I wish it was 67. It was... Like, my air conditioner got it down to 76, and that is about as comfortable as I've managed. I'm not looking forward to when it gets hotter, since this is not the hot, 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 hot part of the summer. Eating soup, though. Having ramen sounds so cozy with like a nice hot tea and a blanket. A blanket. Do you know the last time I wore sleeves was in April when I went on my trip? It's been hot ever since here. It's really good for living in a desert though. Mm. Let's get these candles blended here. It's a little valley here where someone can live. Maybe a little deer run around. Some green in here. The connects. It's funny, I keep thinking back to my trip. I had a lovely time. I went out that way because I've never been to the East Coast. And I went this. Turning a significant number for my birthday. A big round zero ending one. And so I went and visited a friend and another friend and another friend. And spent time with a really good friend. It was really enjoyable. I really liked the East Coast. I was just so surprised because I don't know. People 
who are from the East Coast tend to shit talk and like it's silly because they don't need to. It's actually a really nice place. And so I enjoyed myself. I got to go see nature, trees, the ocean. I stayed in my friend's family's house and it's haunted because it's an old house from 1907. It used to be a doctor's office and uh, like basically a hospital or triage center because we didn't really have that kind of thing back then. And yeah. You're from the East Coast. That's wonderful, Alice. I won't ask you exactly what part, but I went and visited New Jersey and New York and I really liked it. I was hoping to, it was southern New Jersey, but I also saw northern New Jersey, like you have a tummy ache. What did you do this time to get yourself a tummy ache? Noah. I did like the East Coast though. I have some friends in the Carolinas, like long time friends, like from high school. And they really like it there. Further south for you. Aww. You, you did nothing, it just happened sometimes. Um, that might be because you're hungry, or maybe your blood sugar is not where it should be. As a diabetic, I kind of pay attention to these things for myself, and I realized some of the signs can be things like tummy aches. Like, I used to get them really bad whenever I had, like, cereal. I just stopped eating the cereal. <laughs> I'm not a victim blaming you. Hopefully you get better soon. What's that line like? An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. You know, you gotta think these things through and troubleshoot yourself like your car. I mean that in a cute way. Let's bring that shell back. I'm starting to chip. Oh, I was ready to put water on my desk. Aww. You got a hug from Alice. Aren't you sweet? She's such a good girl, hugging people. So sweet. I'm thinking you had the same thing you had last time you got a stomach ache. Buffalo sauce, yeah, has a lot of vinegar, and um, something that acidic can really upset some people's stomachs. I don't, I don't have uh, vinegary-based spicy stuff because it makes my tummy feel awful. Um, I like the other kind. I like, you know, like Szechuan cuisine and stuff. Like that, I don't have a problem with. But like hot vinegary stuff, like buffalo sauce, would do me in. Good thinking there. Good connection. I would definitely stay away from that if you can. I know it tastes good, but sometimes. You can always invest in something like Pepto Bismol or Tums to help with that. At least to see if it helps. Let's see. If you have any milk, that should help. You love it. It's literally a favorite food. I mean. I get that, like, I can't have cupcakes or wonderful things like that, eclairs, <laughs> uh, just on the very rare occasion. So, 
it's hard. But sometimes, you know, you gotta do her tummy a favor. And when I was vegetarian, there were these chicken nugget things that were not chicken, they were just textured vegetable protein. But I really love them. They had like the most amazing flavor. And I eat them all the time. But they do my tummy in. My tummy would be so mad. are dropping because we're getting sleepies. It is early slash late. Early, early, early. Mm, this is turning out really pretty. It reminds me of stained glass. Mm, Blueberry has won five from the jump catch game. Good job, Barry. Don't even know you're doing it. Hmm, what color do you want? We want a green. We want a kind of bright, vibrant. Let's see what this gives us. Hmm. Oh, that works. It's kind of like a true green. If you're going by like Crayola colors, it's like green, green. Hmm. Oh, you can see my nose. Look at my little nose. Hmm. Oh, it doesn't look little from this angle. <laughs> oh, that's funny. We have ordered some, and it's right between 10 and 3. Well, I hope that helps. Mm. It is relaxing to do watercolors. Mm. I like how rolling these so are. When I was a kid, and we would drive out to the coast, we would go by uh, these beautiful rolling hills that were just enormous. And I would imagine there was like big brachiosaurs <laughs> under there. And that's how they got to be so big and ripply. And it's bubblegum flavored. Um, for Pepto Bismol, it's kind of slightly minty, slightly um, inoffensive, really. It's not bubblegum, though. It has its own unique taste in the sense of it's pretty inoffensive. It's not a bad mint. It's not gross. It's not like toothpaste or something like that. It's like a little peppery on the tongue. Big ass twist. It's pink. Pink peppermint. <laughs> yeah, I would I guess you're right. Like, pink things that pink. Like, you know, when you have a ear infection as a kid, they always give you the pink antibiotic. And it tastes like bubblegum. I always like that stuff. I had a lot of earaches. It's after your sunburn your back is now tan. I would imagine so that happens because your body is telling it, hey, don't do that again. We're going to do our best to protect you, but maybe the ladies will like it. I mean, I guess if they're into that. I am glad that it is not an issue anymore, though. It's a refreshing mint taste. <laughs> I wouldn't call it refreshing. It's like, oh, I'm dying. I will now have the pink bubblegum juice of life. Tanned on the back, translucent everywhere else. I mean, 
Have you seen these arms? This is like my driving arm. So like, it's half a shade darker. But I'm, I'm literally translucent. You know, for living in a place that has so much sun, I do my best to avoid it because it is a mean sun. It is a cruel sun. I mean, this is comparing white paper, but I'm Polish and Swedish. I'm as white as you can get when it comes to how pale I am. This is my summer color. And this line looks like I'm tan. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. I'm very much not. I think it's because it's like that pretty halo lighting. I am pale as I'll get out though. Like, that's cream colored. And, you know, this is white, white. This is kind of creamy white. Like, tan is tan, tan though. Like, this is tan. This is tan. Hmm. I don't know. I'm mainly pink though. I'm, I'm not really like cream colored, I'm pink. And my driving arm, look at my driving tan. It's like so tan. Got my big buff arms. That's how I play bass. <laughs> Where did I put my ha <laughs> Pink's a cute color. I appreciate that. Hmm. I wonder. Hold on. So the tone that I have my uh, thing set to is this is yellow. This is in between, and this is like white light. And I don't look very tan at all in like true white light this is warmer light I try to avoid the blue light types because uh migraines <laughs> so I have it on um more warm colors which is better on my eyes. Oh, I didn't realize this was so dark. Apparently we're doing dark color right now. Mm. We'll make it work. I got my purple from another way. painting on here. I wonder how I'm gonna deal with that. We'll figure something out. Mm. Now is he still sleepy cozy? I imagine it feels like his stomach's punching itself. It's probably hurting a lot. I would definitely suggest if you have any milk to have milk. Cause it'll probably help. Or toast, um, like plain toast. Well, I mean, you could probably have buttered toast if you really want to, but like white bread or saltines, um, because it'll help soak up the, the acid. Um, they need something, or like cereal, or any kind of cracker, really. Just something green of some sort that's easily like digestible. Cause 
because what you need is something that makes it less of an acid. I'm being so brave about this though. I am so sorry though. Mm. food intolerance but you know buffalo sauce is pretty harsh on the tummy helping some however little I can help I am glad mm, let's do some of this mm. Mm, that's an interesting green let's give it some dab funny with like how detailed this is that it's just going to be lit on fire. Just fine. Let's remember we can be passing. And soon you will have a pink liquid of life known as Pepto Bismol. It helps with all kinds of things. I think they call it like five symptom helping. It really does a good job. I have tummy trouble with some things because the medication's on. So it has become my friend. <laughs> uh, oh, you poor baby. You'll be alright. It's okay. <laughs> it will be, though. Motherly motivation talk. Everybody should get a big titty goth girlfriend that whispers sweet nothings into their ear. That'd be nice. I want one. <laughs> Uh, it would be nice to have a girlfriend that has bigger tits than me. That'd be a nice change. <laughs> uh, 
I appreciate that, Noah. But literally, you are an age in which you could have been my child. <laughs> Luckily, you're not, though. Um, I have friends that are my age. I have kids that are older than you. That's so funny. Uh, I'm glad he's joking around. Well, milfs are a category for a reason, I suppose, right? I know, I certainly appreciate them. Because they are my peers. <laughs> <laughs> mm, but I really hope you do feel better soon. It's no fun having a sick tummy. Especially when you're trying to have a good day. Oh, I'm just teasing you now, Noah. Jeez. Calm down. Settle down. It's just going to upset you. Poor tummy. Mm. You don't want to be too stressed. It'll just make your tummy hurt more. Stomach digest things. Your being is so brave. <laughs> I won five in the jump game. Good job, me. My giant ass tutorial. There's this funny gif of this girl, anime girl, just like sitting against the wall with her arms against her, like around her knees and says, my tummy hurts and I'm being so brave about it. <laughs> I love that one. Cause yeah, my tummy hurting and I'm having a hard time. I do. It's hard when your tummy hurts. <laughs> I'm glad you're discovering things about yourself you didn't know. You're young. You have lots to discover. And there is nothing wrong with enjoying little praise, little encouragement, and little empathy. not always have to be strong. And that which yields is not always weak. <laughs> ASMR empathy. There we go. My kinks are being encouraged by somebody. <laughs> Uh, same hat, bro. Same. 
Name hat. Hmm. I'm not right, Alice. You certainly do feel that. It was so wonderful for having stuck around here. Hopefully, you had an absolutely lovely breakfast, dinner, dinner breakfast, breakfast. <laughs> That was very clever of you. To be proud for using up your leftovers. Such delicious leftovers, too. Mm, I bet that was wonderful this morning. And hopefully you are enjoying relaxing. So cozy blanket. Mm, I'm glad it was delicious. Good food always makes one feel so much better. Until it hurts the tummy. <laughs> oh, I laugh because I've been in that position myself quite a few times. Having overeaten or something that I shouldn't have. I'm glad your stomach feels better. I would s still say if you have any issues with any flare ups to uh, try some Pepto. The other thing is, um, stress can make your tummy upset. But since you said that, you know, the last time you felt ill like that was with your, uh, the last time you had the buffalo sauce. It could be a connection there. You might want to check with your doctor about symptoms. You could have developed an ulcer from stress and hot food. <laughs> That'll do it, to be sure. Are you really an honest stomach? <laughs> Where are you now? when one holds stress and doesn't have an outlet and can really build tension and it's hard to find a good release for that and uh, it comes out in other ways such as headaches or sometimes ulcers or hair loss weight gain things like that <laughs> Lena! Hi, good morning. I hope you are having an absolutely wonderful morning. I am still up. I am painting. See, cats are dicks like that. I. Okay, so like. TMI time. I had an IUD placed. And that gave me such a severe cramping like I've never felt in my life. My cat, well, this is cat, decided to come rest by me, which was so sweet. Then he decided to uh, step on my lower regions, which, oh god, I felt like I was gonna die. <laughs> uh. So, like I say, Cats are dicks like that. You're mildly sick and nothing too wrong. Oh, I'm so sorry you're sick too. Is there anything I can do to help? Anything I can do to cheer you up? I do feel like cheering people up. I didn't need to hear that. That cheered me up. That's 
guys want to see this one. Just feeling busy only eating princes in one of the past day or so. Just a little joy. Hmm. That's, that's not good. Hopefully, it gets better soon. You can graduate to tea and toast. That sounds miserable. I have another friend who is having tummy problems, and then Noah's having tummy problems. Maybe they're just going around. Unfortunately, I'm used to tummy problems at this point because of the medications I'm on. It's just like a fact in life. Oh, am I eating today? Yes, I will have tummy problems. Hmm. Feels like a faraway desert. Let's take a look at her painting so far. We have hmm, an interesting shoreline. Interesting mountains. Rolling hills. Maybe that's the sunrise. Tea and toast would be fine, but the energy to prep them is an inhibiting factor. Oh, if only I can make you tea and toast. I would definitely do so. Just the way you like. having jasmine, which can be nice on a light stomach. Peppermint is also a good choice. Mm. Maybe a nice fluffy bread. It's toasted. You get that kind of crunchy exterior and in the middle is just so soft you can put your tongue between each of the layers of the crispness from the toaster. Usually fruit teas are spearmint. I can't wait for the Pepto to arrive for you too, Noah. Spearmint is really lovely for touchy tummies. Fruit tea is really good too, though. Because it almost feels like you're having something significant to have. favorites is a blueberry by Celestial Seasoning. I don't know why, I just really like it. It was hard to find here anywhere. Mm. One of my friends really enjoys pomegranate. And pomegranate green. It sounds amazing. I have yet to try it myself though. Seems like a lovely breakfast though. A nice tea, some white toast. Good company. Mmm, my pomegranate. Me too. That mango. 
But mango can be a little heavy. And there's such a fun history with pomegranates. I don't know the history of the mango. I'm sure there's plenty of fun history too, though. Mm. Mangoes are really good. I like how juicy they are. This feels so smoke on the tongue. Mm. Definitely love licking my fingers of all the juices. favorite. Mango does make amazing desserts. Hmm. I hope, hope everybody feels better today. Seems like it's been a rough couple days for everybody. <laughs> Italian ice, mango, sorbet, mango, mangoes, mango. I know, right? I had some mango chicken. Mm, I think crispy chicken. With a mango sauce. Mm, really good. Recovery is just a matter of time, as most things are. Oh. What kind of things are we discussing? What about it? What things? It's interesting. My Zivaling from Dragon Eye Movies. Was she also addicted to mango? Mm. Mm. Alright, I do believe this is a sunrise. I'm going to pull out. Easy, really pink and oranges. Mm. And she tastes like a mango. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Quite literally obsessed with them. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Look, that is so bright. Okay. We will work with this. We are going to. I don't deal with wet paint when it comes to watercolors, which, mm, surprise, right? But I like to push colors so they tend not to be wet. Like, is that your favorite food? Would be the best food to make into other delicious stuff? I mean, they're quite lovely. I like how the sheen of the wetness from the paint is uh, coming in. Pineapple as just a fruit is the most delicious fruit. Hmm. 
quite like pineapple like that. As long as it's not on pizza. Watermelons and mangoes and strawberries. You know, I've never actually had a watermelon that I liked. Strawberries are not... I do not like fruits with tiny seeds. Which is really annoying. Like, not in fruit form. I like them in other forms, like flavors or like jam that has a been de-seeded and all, but I have a hard time with small seeds, it's a texture thing and the fact that they get stuck on my teeth and before when I was younger they would get stuck in my braces. Look at that lovely pink though. Oh, it's a good morning pink. I think I'll blend it into some of this yellow. We are going to make this a sunrise. Sunrise today. Hmm. Let's throw a little bit of the light peach. Little peach. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong with pineapple and pizza. Apple seeds. Oh, yeah, the arsenic in them. Ooh, look at this peach. We are going to blend that. Mm -hmm. Right here. Right here. It's gonna be peachy. Peachy. Mm. Open wide. Um, I did. My sister loved pineapple on pizza, and my sister was like the apple in my eye when I was very young. So of course I had to try pineapple on pizza because my sister liked it. I did not like it. And there's that. Mm. Like I've experienced liking it, so I can understand why people like it. Mm. It's like a hot, hot orangey pink. <laughs> I made it into bubblegum. Look at that. Mm, let's get more of this. Yeah. So dandy. It's just literally irks me when people overreact. Like in an uncommon food to an apocalypse of modern culture. Oh my goodness. That makes sense. Uh, look how bright that is. That is incredibly bright. But it is okay. 
I'm gonna reflect it over here also. And some here. Let's into this part. Hmm. There we go. Let's blend this. much water. I don't know. Maybe I would like pineapple on pizza better as an adult. There have been things that have changed my mind on flavors. I never used to like blueberries. And then I had blueberry syrup once. And I've liked blueberries since. And I never used to like mustard. And then I had it in my corn dog one time, just as a craving, and I liked mustard ever since. I try to be open-minded and try things I normally wouldn't as an adult, because is it that I didn't like it, or was it an experience associated with it? And taste buds change. Goodness knows they do. Uh, maybe if somebody fed me pineapple pizza, I wouldn't mind it nearly as much. Sunrise leaning against these wonderful hills. Nina, would you feed me pineapple pizza? <laughs> I apologize, I'm doing a bit of a tease this morning. I'm gonna link Dragon Eye Moons, but the author is doing Kindle Unlimited a month ago. So just two three two hundred and forty had to be removed from public sites. Oh, that's um a shame. Hopefully they're gonna be getting good revenue though. Cough way back machine, I know, right? God bless the internet way back machine. It's not been feeling good. You're not that playful this morning, Nina. Ah, <laughs> okay. Dot org is a blessing. This is Wikipedia for that matter.
Hmm, change of energy, so let's take the... Oh, I think I will do my best to be playful enough for the both of us. <laughs> you might need some more motivation though. Uh, you have been very good when it comes to how you're handling your poor tummy. I am so glad that you have been feeling off and on a little better. And that was so good of you to order some pepper this long. Your stomach will thank you for it. I got uh, three fans in my room, and my hair is very wispy. It's extremely fine, so it blows in my face on occasion, and it tickles my nose. Mm. I hope you feel better soon too, Luna. It's no fun having not eaten for days because you're tummy. Let's get a little more orange. Mmm, let's see, let's get a little more of this orange. Oh, oh look at that color. Mmm, it's gonna be so nice. Mm, hope you can see that on my brush here. Yeah. Maybe a little bit. Mm. There we go. Mmm, look at that. That orange is like a cantaloupe color. You look what you think of those glamour shots. It's blowing hair, you're always impressed. Impressed at the fine fan control required to create this scene. Ah, <laughs> uh, right? Mm. Look at this cantaloupe color. That's so nice. Mm. Hopefully, your partners have been, or whomever is around you, have been helping you out, Lena. I hate to think that you're all alone and not being well tended to. Oh, you're sick. That would be such a shame. I've been wondering why you've been quiet the last couple of days, too. I'm sorry to hear it's because you've been sick. And hopefully that'll pass soon. Yeah, with your girlfriend, she's been handling the house and food. Oh, that is so wonderful. You don't have to worry. That's great. I love it when people chip in like that for their loved ones. It's so precious. I'm glad you two have each other. sleeping 16 to 18 hours a day. That has been rough. Oh, whatever got a hold of you got a hold of you really hard. Not in good. 
one of those Cave Johnson moments where you're like, gonna take a life and see it's a manager until you don't want any more damn lemons. That's how rough that sounds. Hmm. Poor thing. I'm so glad she's there to help, though. gotta be such a relief for you on your mind so you can just tend to feeling better giving you some cozy vibes this morning. Help with your recovery. Maybe speedy. I didn't notice the sunrise due to the clouds. I love watching the sunrise. Oh. I don't know what I like better, watching the sunrise or sunset. I think it depends on the company I'm in. If it's just by me, I like watching the sunset. If I'm with somebody, that's up for debate. Then again, sunrise in the desert is beautiful, but mm, so warm. Mm. It is nice, however, in the early mornings out here, like they do. I see the hot balloons rising and that is so nice to see because it's just really pretty. My strong memories of hiking mountains early in the morning to watch the sunrise from the peak. Oh, that sounds lovely. I wish I was one that was capable of hiking to peaks and things like that. A lot more uh, out of shape. <laughs> I don't think I could handle the Disneyland marathon at this point. Thanks to COVID and just making me a homebody more than I used to be. And then the heat being so bad. And uh, just in general. Enjoying getting out in the desert. I used to like to go hiking and stuff like that. I was living in other places. <laughs> Not anymore. I don't think you need teams in the family. That's so pretty, though. What wonderful memories. But I have to admit, I went on a little hike when I visited my on the east coast. That was nice. It's nice to get out in nature and just walk around. It was harder than I thought it would be. I am so very out of shape when it comes to endurance like that. My goodness. All kinds of wrong words are coming out of my mouth this morning. <laughs> Mm. 
Oh, that is very bright. <laughs> oh, we will need to uh, make that a little um, less vibrant. to go walking on the beach with my family. Hmm, I guess I shouldn't say with my family. We would go on family vacations and we would go to the beach sometimes. Uh, just like weekend trips because it wasn't far and it was not expensive. And I love to just go walk on the beach, lay down on the beach, stare up into the atmosphere. Listen to the waves. It's one of my happiest places. I thought it might just be in the Pacific, but I really enjoy visiting the Atlantic. Such a different beach. Different waters. But no less pretty. It was interesting to watch the sunrise over the ocean because I'm used to it setting and it was weird to not see it set over the ocean. <laughs> the things we get used to, you know? Mm. It was fun. My friend and I went out on the beach and they uh, brought, or they had on their phone one of those uh, night sky apps. And so we stood on the beach in the middle of the night. Uh, holding up a phone to see the different constellations and then looking back to see if you could see them. It was lovely. I love things like that. It was very thoughtful. Mm. I'm not sure what you were thinking before, but. Hmm. I should tell you. Thank you. And good job for hanging in there these last couple days. Don't tell me we're in such trouble. It was wonderful. <laughs> right in my heart is definitely through the ocean, I guess. And the stars.
Constellations when I was a kid and staying up at the night sky. Maybe that's how I got into astrology if I think about it. I really enjoy astronomy. Whenever we'd go to the science museum and see one of those. Uh, Time is making me forget what they're called. They had those pretty shows about stars and stuff. That was my favorite part. It doesn't matter if we like we're seeing dinosaurs that day, but gosh, you get me in a planetarium and I'm just mm, like a little kid. I just love it. My personal astrology system actually uses astronomy and time as its basis instead of previously laid out because there's been a procession of the stars since these star signs were created. In some ways, it, I think it feels more accurate, and others it doesn't, and I think it's because of um, mm, the modification and meanings behind signs and house placements and things. So I've been looking into more um, older, I guess, just more older texts like medieval astrology I realized it's all based on well a good majority of them Ptolemy's work and he was a dick in the sense that he was like eh, precision of the stars time this shit won't matter and was like don't worry about it here's the you know the signs are linked to seasons and this and that, and like, who am I to argue with Ptolemy? But here I am arguing with Ptolemy. There has been more than one occasion where I'm like, fuck that dude. But then again, good dude knew his shit. <laughs> hmm. It's funny having arguments with astrologers that are thousands of years past. I find it fascinating though. Mm. Esoteric astrology. And modern astrology. They have very, very different feelings and Definitions. I'm gonna go on an astrology round if someone doesn't stop me and distract me. I don't feel like I should go on an astrology round. I'm going to go and lie down. Thank you. Thank you, Nina. That's going to be wonderful. Get some rest. Feel better soon. I look forward to you being back at full health. So take care of yourself, please. And sleep well in this retreat.
thank you again for stopping by. This company is always wonderful. You, <laughs> you're not feeling good. Post a picture so you can see it later. Thank you for reminding me. I'm almost done too. I'm going to be slowly starting to strip these with lavender and highlight with a blue. So I have warm and sunny, warm and sky. And the vibrant color.
Oh. Welcome, if you've just joined us. I am creating you a sunrise over a lake, I think. Mountains. We are working on. Chatty chatters. Mm. You can have a stream avatar on the screen. Mm. It is a lovely morning. It's lovely for you all. It's been interesting for me this far. Interesting sky. The opposition curves. Mm, I am letting the ships take form rather than forcing them. I have a painting that is that I don't use that much water at all. I am a dry, dry brush, dry canvas. Who knows what I can but it's pretty so what I call the brain. You know what I mean. Dry, dry. Which can get some rich colors and some interesting textures for the painting. Four and a half hours almost. Some new. Oh, let's say one second. The cat has woken up. Good morning, Noctis. He's rolling around on the floor, being absolutely adorable. distracted with the thought of adding purple, but I'm gonna have to go back and uh, finish my peaches. So I'm just continuing with my brush, with blending and blending backwards from the darker to the lighter, warmer color. So that way I can get back to where I was at. I get so excited at the thought. Day off, in which case, may this be a wonderfully enjoyable Monday. I 
<laughs> okay. He's grooming. But he's been rolling around. So he's like fixing all of his hair. He's in kind of place. Hmm. Let's see if we can get down to... Yes, let's see if we can. Um, my colors. I may have to replace the water again. I'm using a shell from the ocean. My water vessel today. This painting is going to be interesting in the sense that when I gave it to the person that I'm making it for, I have asked that we burn it. of this one of the avant-garde artists that uh, like to use mediums that of self in order to make their uh, statement like Yoko Ono's cut piece where she had a pair of scissors and she was dressed and she had people come and cut pieces off of her clothing if they wished until she had none remaining and what her statement was depended upon your point of view I like that kind of thing. So real and permanent art. Feels good. It's temporary. It's not meant to be main, but it is. Painted with the skill and effort and time. Something that should remain. It's not fast by any means. It's not permanent either. Let me get back to our orange and yellows. Oh, is it time to go out, little mister? That is adorable. I wish I could show you. I should have a cat cam. And not just for me. He's having a good time. I think everybody is. Mm. Oh, I 
it's time to let the mist out. <laughs> Distracted by Discord call. Oh, Barry. One second. lovely. I had just thought you fell asleep considering you were supposed to. in a minute. Mm. <laughs> Almost there myself. Maybe we'll get in a lucky summer storm. That would be so nice. Let's do the thing. Let's browse. I want 
Must have been flowing in the water. That means I should have probably empty our water. Mm. And uh, it's a few spots right there. Too far down in my chair. This thing isn't picking up. That's kind of funny. Mm. Oh, yeah, that one. in our container of soil. Uh, I'm actually going to see if I have a key to wipe this out with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do. Is that 
blue keeps pointing on the green things. As much as I like it and I love working with blue, I think it's a little much. Oh, hello, Octus. How's the kitty doing this morning? You can't remember to say hi. Let's get some more of this moon water. Sir, sir, why are you scratching my chair? You have a scratching post in here, sir. Alright. Now that the cat has been properly scolded, let's. There we go. Let's pull some of these pinks in the center and join these two sides. Hopefully we are all still having a lovely morning or evening where you are. Could be midday for a moment. It is 7.30 in my time. We're in the morning. We have been up all night. We've been waking up this for four hours, 45 minutes. So it's been a hot minute. <laughs> mm. We are creating this lovely sunrise over hills and over a lake. I'm gonna look sideways because I look sideways. It's just how things are. Hopefully you don't mind and I don't mind. see where they lead us. I use a rather dry brush method. Just rolling our paintbrush. This is lovely reddish pink. many colors to blend. He's cloudy. One of our normal legs. Mm, moving my atom in here. Mm. There we go. It's a little bit uncomfortable. This is all be done with this fine liner brush. I find they work for what I want. Mm-hmm. 
thought that would be a really clever and annoying. I'm beginning to think really in this place.
Mm. Cat has jumped on my shoulder. What are you doing, Joe? Okay, they want something, but I do not know what. Use a cat and come up to me. Hmm. No. <laughs>
this one would be really light. Carefully get it with rocks. Get a deeper purple now. Mm -hmm. Transition between pink and purple. Interesting. Super nice having you here. Even though I've been distracted with Discord calls a bit late. Ah, it is 8 a.m. I'm a little bit sleepy. But we are almost complete, so I want to make sure I complete this. But yes, I will go night night in a bit. Sleep well. And sweet dreams. Mm. Night. Mm -hmm. I'm really welcome for this stream. It was nice to be able to do one. Miss P came to visit on an art stream. It's absolutely blowing water coming. I appreciate that. <laughs> mm, hopefully, you've been entertained. So I like to be in a tree. Your company as always is wonderful, baby. I appreciate you.
behind me. Insomnia and a real bitch.
that was not the cover I was actually just going for it. That is a surprise, but I don't really want to run with it since it's already on our cover. I'm going to take some more over here though. This is our sunrise organic lemons. Mm. Turn out pretty good if you ask me. What a beautiful early morning this is. Alright. Now all of you should really get some sleep. Good night. Sleep well and sweet dreams. Mm.